Hey everyone, it's Lexia. Welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I created this look, then please continue to watch. First, I'm going to moisturize with some Evian water. I love this stuff because it's a mist and it makes my skin so smooth. And I always like to bring it down my neck as well. Then you just want to fan it off so it all sinks into your face before you apply any makeup. Now I'm going to be going into my Instant Age Rewinding Eraser like CC Cream. And I love this stuff because it's super light and all I have to do is crank and the product comes right out. Then if this doesn't give you enough coverage, I like to go back in with a light foundation, not a full coverage, just something to cover up more of like the redness or any spots where you wanna look more flawless. Now I'm going into this Chanel foundation. Then I'm just taking my fingers and gonna blend the product into my face. I just wanna blend, blend, blend really lightly and just make sure that everything doesn't look streaky. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of some NARS Cream Radiant Concealer on a few little spots that I have. So now I'm just going to take my ring finger and blend it in again. Okay, now I'm really loving how awake and bright I look. I'm just going to set all my cream products with a Chanel face powder. And I just put this all over my and face. And also just bring it down your neck. Okay, so now I'm going in with Marc Jacobs Coconut Bronzer, my holy grail product. I love it so much and I just realized it's limited edition so I don't know if I can buy it again. So sad, but it's my favorite. I just use bronzer brush, this angled one, going into this and just putting this everywhere where I wanna look more goldeny bronze, like the sun just kissed my face, like more awake. And then I also like to take this on my eyes and just give me a little bit more dimension without using a separate eyeshadow. Since I'm using this on my skin, it all like goes together super well and looks really nice and natural. And you just wanna go in a little bit more heavier on your eye, just to know that something's like there. Now for my favorite brows, I just wanna define them a little bit more with this Bobbi Brown Give Me Brow Little Brow Gel. So this is a tinted brow gel, and tinted brow gels are the best because it gives you that perfect flawless finish, but it looks super natural instead of just like painting them off like a pencil or something. I just follow my natural brow shape, and this just gives it a nice tint. You just want to brush the hairs up. I'm just going to set my brows with some clear Anastasia brow gel. And it doesn't matter what kind of brand you use for any of these products, just something that's super light and natural. Any tinted brow gel or clear brow gel will work. I like to use tinted since my brows are not as dark as I like them to be. Now I'm just gonna add a pop of highlight to my face. I love this product because it's a cream stick and it just goes on so nicely. A little bit on my cupid's bow, a little bit on the tip of my nose and on the bridge and then in the inner corners of my eyelids and just a little bit underneath my brow bone. Now I'm just going to again blend that in with my fingers. Now to add some life back into my face, I'm just going in with California by Benefit Blush on this stippling brush. I love using stippling brushes. It just gives you a super light coverage and it just makes you look like super flawless. I love stippling brushes, especially when I'm applying super natural makeup. I'm just putting this on where I put the bronzer and a little bit on my eyelids. Now for mascara, I'm just going in with the Lash Infallible Mascara by Maybelline and I'm just doing super, super light coats on my lashes. I just poked myself in the eye and my eyes watering now. Oh no. I'm gonna try to move on and recover from this. <laughs> okay, for my lips, usually I'll just put on a little lip balm, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to add a little bit more pizzazz. So sometimes I like to go in with MAC Diverish lip liner and just line my lips a little to emphasize the color. This matches my natural lips, so any natural lip liner, any nude. Now I'm just adding some EOS lip balm. Any lip balm will work. 
So I hope you loves enjoyed. This is my look. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I really want to grow this family, this YouTube family with you guys. So if you could subscribe, that would mean the world to me as well. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.